To avoid these potential problems under priority machining, cutting operations can be given one of three levels of priority, prior machining, ordinary machining, and subsequent machining. The control will order and execute priority machining operations based on these three levels. Prior machining first, then ordinary machining, and then subsequent machining. There can be several priority machining operations in one part program, and they can be programmed to any of these three levels of priority machining. The color of the priority numbers in the program indicates the level of the priority machining operations. Tools to be used in prior machining operations are indicated by yellow numbers. Those tool operations are performed first when the program is executed. Notice that there is a sequential order to these prior machining processes as well. Number one is assigned to this face mill in this program, so all prior machining with the face mill will be performed before any prior machining occurs with this center drill, which has the number two prior machining number. After all prior machining operations have been read and executed, the control then returns to the head of the part program and begins reading for all machining operations at the second level of priority machining, ordinary machining. Tools assigned with ordinary machining have no priority numbers entered. They are performed in order of appearance after all of the prior machining operations are completed. Priority numbers for tools assigned to subsequent machining appear in a colored box. Subsequent machining operations are executed in numerical order only after all machining operations have been completed at the other two levels. Examples of subsequent machining include reaming, tapping, or as you see in this example, chamfering.